Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. The Department of Homeland Security in the United States is focusing on preventing bad weather. Senator Hawley of Missouri says that the Department of Homeland Security is focused on climate change rather than tending to the border crisis. And the Department of Homeland Security says that the tornado in Kentucky last month was caused by climate change. Experts explain that a warming climate may be making winter tornadoes stronger. So let's go back to this date in 1929. Deadly tornadoes occurred all over the Midwest and in Canada. At least 11 people died in Canada, and Indiana, Illinois, and Kentucky were devastated. Hundreds of children got trapped in a schoolhouse in Indiana, and many died. Dorothy May Handley, who was killed in the Monty schoolhouse crash, wouldn't play hooky from school because her mother wouldn't like it. One of her girl chums, Vivian McDaniel, who does not go to school, told yesterday how she had met Dorothy May on her way to school Friday morning and begged her to play hooky. Dorothy May had been ill for a week but had decided to go back to school Friday. You won't get caught, Vivian urged. No, I can't. Mama wouldn't like it, replied Dorothy. And Dorothy went to school and died in the tornado. This map shows temperatures in the United States on January 19, 1929. It was very warm and humid in the south and up the east coast. But on the other side of the frontal boundary, it was very cold and the air was dry. This is a classic setup for extreme weather and tornadoes. And on this date in 1904, there was massive flooding on the Ohio River and deadly tornadoes in Alabama. Moundville, Alabama was largely destroyed. The weather map for that day showed the same pattern, warm and humid in the southeast and cold, dry air coming down from the north. On January 7, 1946, dozens of people were killed by tornadoes around Nacogdoches, Texas. And the weather map that day was very similar to the other two January tornadoes we just discussed. Another deadly tornado occurred on January 12, 1898, which destroyed most of Fort Smith, Arkansas. At least 50 people were killed in that storm. It was the same weather pattern with warm, humid air in the southeast and cold, dry air in the north. The winter of 1897-1898 was very warm and dry in the southeastern United States. And on February 16, 1898, one of the largest forest fires in U.S. history occurred in South Carolina. About 3 million acres of forest land burned, most of which occurred in just a few hours. To put that in perspective, that's about as much forest as burned in California during all of 2021. The 1898 fires were much more intense than anything which has been experienced recently. And at the same time in February 1898, there were massive fires burning in Australia and New Zealand. Tasmania was on fire, but Queensland was flooded even as southern Australia was burning. California also had massive forest fires that year. The California fires started very early in April, when California is normally quite green. Later that year, Colorado had their largest forest fires on record, which burned up almost the entire northwest quadrant of the state. And Wisconsin had massive fires as well. The forest fire season in the United States lasted almost the entire year in 1898. Climate alarmists claim that the fire season is getting longer in the United States due to climate change, but the historical record shows that what they're saying simply isn't true. Now let's go back to the other claims about winter tornadoes being caused by climate change. The weather pattern on December 12th of last year was almost identical to all the other winter tornadoes we've looked at in this video. The tornado outbreak of December 12th, 2021 was the same weather we've always had. Climate alarmists use destructive pictures of tornadoes to frighten people. This is what New Richmond, Wisconsin looked like on June 12, 1899. One of the deadliest tornadoes in U.S. history occurred in St. Louis on May 27, 1896. More than 250 people died and a thousand people were injured. The deadliest tornado in U.S. history occurred on March 18, 1925. Nearly a thousand people in six states died in tornadoes that day. The second deadliest tornado in the U.S. was the Natchez, Mississippi tornado of May 7, 1840. The tornado went right up the Mississippi River and was so large it killed people on both banks. 
On Easter 1913, there was a tornado outbreak all the way across the United States, and large parts of Omaha, Nebraska were destroyed. St. Louis was largely wiped out by the 1896 tornado, and they were again struck by a massive tornado on September 30, 1927. According to the U.S. Tornado Project, about 200 U.S. tornadoes have killed 18 or more people. Of those, about 150 occurred in the 70-year period between 1879 and 1949. In other words, deadly tornadoes were much more common in the United States prior to 1950. And according to NOAA, the frequency of strong to violent tornadoes in the United States has decreased over the last 70 years. Instead of actually doing their job, the Department of Homeland Security is focused on issues which they have no control over. And it's all based on junk science, which has no basis in reality. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this clown show for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Curie, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.